Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at something I call sliding title reveals. It really doesn't take much to spice up your titles. Uh, too many times I see people that get into video editing and they're, they're not uh, familiar with graphics. They, whatever the, the default title font is and they just type words. Okay, but let's try two things. Change the font and animate the word appearing. Let me show you a couple examples and then we'll make one. Jump to the next one. So let's have a look at these two. You, the pepperoni is spinning and changing its scale. Big Mouth Pizza comes sliding out and the, the other graphic comes sliding down. If we go to the essential graphics and look at this, the pepperoni is on its own uh, layer. It's not doing anything special other than just twirling, so rotation and scale. Each one of the other titles is in a group and it's either a mask or a crop. So when you add a crop and Big Mouth Pizza is here, the crop is here. So when you move, I'll hide the pepperoni. When you move Big Mouth Pizza outside of that area, it, it disappears because it's beyond the crop. Here's the crop, it's just cropping that. And really it's quite amazing the way that a group works. And we'll make one of these in a second. The group has the crop and, and this title. If you have the crop outside of the group, it's gonna crop everything. Crop in a group, only crops what's in the group below it. Fantastic technique. The other one is using a mask. And this is just a shape. And down at the bottom, I've got this set to mask with shape and invert. And it's just a rectangle, mask with shape and invert. And if we look here, it's in a group with the too big to eat a whole one so it comes down from the bottom. If you change where this mask is, it's going to change what is showing. So it hides when it's in that area. Uh, the Burger World one is a little easier. I've got a shape animated. And the shape is outside of the area. I've got Burger World type and then the crop again is just on the edge so that when I move Burger World over, it comes out of that graphic. Pretty simple stuff. So let's make our own right here. Okay, so I'll grab the type tool and I'm going to type what's on it. And I'll select that and I'll look for chaloops. Okay, so first of all, I've, I've got a playful font, chaloops. Now for this, we can, we can animate this on if we want. So let's do that. So I'll add a group. And when you have something selected and add a group, it puts it in the group. Go to my effects and look for crop and drag crop above that. And you can see if you drag it into certain areas, it's going to go left or right. We want it above what's on it in the group. Click on the crop and here's the crop amount. We'll crop just to here. And then in the effects controls, we'll animate this. So right now it starts on the screen and 
we go to the position information for the text. And we set a keyframe where we want the type to end. So because it's already in the correct spot, I'm going to add a position keyframe here, not at the beginning. And then I'll move my playhead. And I think it's just easier to drag on top of these numbers. So this is the left and right X coordinate. And I'll drag this to the left. And now when I hit play, it pops on the screen. You want it slower, drag the keyframe to the right. It's slower, you want it quicker, move it to the left, pops up. Right click on the second one and change this to ease in. And if you want, right click on the first one and ease out. It just gives a little bit more of a natural feel. Boom, what's on it? Okay, now back to our graphic, back to essential graphics. We can close that up and I'm going to uh, type another title underneath this and I'll make sure that this is selected. This happens to me sometimes, the title in the, in the timeline gets deselected. I click with my type tool and I've actually made a second title. I want two animated titles in the same graphic on the timeline. So I'll click in here and I will type mustard or ketchup. Go back to my selection tool and instead of bold, we'll make this one regular and make it a little bit smaller so that it fits. We're going to have this come down underneath the what's on it title. And if we want, let's play with this a little bit more. In my what's on it, I'll go down to background, drag the opacity to 100%, extend it a little bit and make it as round as possible. So it's got a very hot dog feel to it, those round corners. And now notice what's happening here. The crop is too far. It's actually cropping out the rounded edge. So I've got to go back up to my crop. And remember the crop isn't animated. It's the position of the type. So I'll move my crop a little bit further out just to the edge there. All right, so back to what's on it. Maybe we'll change the color of this instead of this gray. The background, I'll grab some of the bun color here. And instead of white, let's make this red. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe more mustard color. Okay, that's better. All right, back up to the top. And we're going to put mustard in a group. I could label these if I want, but I'm too lazy. All right, so before, just like before, I'm gonna drag crop into the top. And this time I'm going to crop to the bottom edge of that graphic. Go back to my effects. This gets a little busy in here, uh, but you can twirl these up. So I'm looking for the mustard or ketchup and twirl that down, twirl that up and just have position information. So the what's on it, oh, look at that. I, <laughs> I moved that, but I kind of like that. Whoop, let's leave that. So this is where I want mustard or ketchup to show up. So I'll add a position keyframe, move this back, and this time I'll drag over the second number, and as I drag up, it goes, it looks like it's going behind, so that it pops out. Boop. Maybe a little bit quicker. Boop. Again, I'll right click on the first one, ease out, right click on the second one, ease in, now here's one last thing I wanna show you. This little filter, if I just want to show only keyframe properties, now look at how easy this is. I'm only looking at the properties for that. There's boop, oh, maybe I don't like that. So I'll delete that keyframe. 
mustard or ketchup. Maybe that's too quick. Boop. And go back to Essential Graphics. And I'm going to double click on mustard. And let's give it a mustard color. Double click on ketchup. And we'll give that a ketchupy color, which is a little bit darker than that. All right, so now here's our graphic. Boop. What's on it? Mustard or ketchup. Oh, and I noticed because I, I put my graphic on there, remember I added that graphic, it's not going far enough. So let's go back to what's on it and we'll make it peak all the way out. So when I added that graphic shape, it wasn't far enough. So now it comes out and that comes down. Boop, boop. And lastly, you can right click on it in the timeline and you can export that as a motion graphics template or you can do that in the graphics and titles. Make sure I've got it selected. Graphics and titles. Export as a motion graphics template. You can put it in your local templates folder. I've got a bunch of libraries that I could put it in. And, well, let's do that. Let's export this out. Mustard or ketchup. And I'll put it in my local templates folder. Click OK. And now watch what happens. I'll delete this. Go back to Essential Graphics, browse. There it is. Drag it down. Boop. And if we go to the Essential Graphics, everything is there. And I can still turn on and edit, change the color, do whatever I want. So a couple of really quick steps and you've got more animated titles. You'll see these all the time. This is really popular in motion graphics with lower thirds from After Effects. Almost every one of them does this where the, the graphic will pop out and get inspired by, by looking at some of these examples. A good thing is to go to Motion Array, which is I've got a link in the description. Go look at some of those graphic titles and recreate your own. Like the Burger World one, remember here, this was a, uh, a, a graphic, which is just an animated, I'm animating that shape and I'm animating the path. That's how I'm able to change this from one shape to another shape. Boop. And then have the burger world come out of that shape. That's done all the time in lower thirds. It's really slick and cool. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. We love all of our wonderful supporters, donors, those folks that uh, support us. Thank you so much. There's a bunch of free stuff for you to download there too. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get a little irked by looking at some of the titles that are too simple out there and get you to be inspired to take your graphics up a notch.